I just presented here at EHA the results for the pivotal clinical trial of SL-401, which is a targeted therapy that hits CD-123 for patients with a very rare hematologic malignancy that I treat known as BPDCN or blastic plasmacytoidendritic cell neoplasm. I'd like to summarize those results for you. In a clinical trial of 45 patients reported in stages one, two, and three that began with a dose escalation culminated with identification of a target dose, we observed a 90%, 90% overall response rate in frontline treated patients, those are patients who've never had a prior therapy, and a 69% overall response rate in patients in the relapse refractory setting, those patients who'd had one or more prior therapies. Overall, the drug was well tolerated. The most common side effects were hypoalbuminemia, transaminitis, and thrombocytopenia, which usually occurred in the first cycle. Most notably, uh, one of the most important side effects was capillary leak syndrome, which occurred throughout the trial at all grades, including one death among 114 patients treated at the 12 microgram per kilogram dosing across all SL-401 single agent trials. So this data set appears to be encouraging, uh, promising. It's the first ever multi-center targeted trial therapy for patients with this rare disease. And the real finding in this field that allowed this was the discovery that the CD123 is highly overexpressed in patients with BPDCN. So future directions from here will be to try to see if there's rational combinations with this drug, either with hypomethylator drugs, other targeted agents, or cytotoxic therapies, and to continue and finish enrolling in now what's the stage four setting of this ongoing clinical trial.